Hi guys, welcome back. We're just gonna keep this Helix Tone Overview train rolling. Thanks to you guys, we're going back, we're going through all the Helix sound-like tones that I created, and then I, then I subsequently never went over. I mean, that was the whole point of it anyway. Make a tone to sound like X band, and then do a video going over the tone, so you guys know what I'm doing. But I missed a few of them, so we're back on it. Today we're doing the Kill Switch one, remember that one? Just gonna play a bit of that one too, sorry. Again, that one hasn't been demonetized and it's a little bit shocking and I fully expect it at some point, but in the interest of not getting this one demonetized in the future either, just played that little bit. You guys remember, you can go watch the other one, go watch it, whatever. I always look as if, <laughs> go watch that video if you wanna hear more of it. Today, we're going to go over that tone. So let's go to the computer, open up HX Edit, and let me walk you through it. If you're into guitars, metal riffage, mixing, and everything in between, hit subscribe and follow along. All right, back in the lab. Let's take a look at what I did for this kill switch tone. So, per usual, I have the input gate on, threshold is at negative 48, decay is down to 10 milliseconds. Then we're running into, you should know some of this already, running into the Scream 808, um, distortion block, gain is set to zero, tone is at 9.2, the level's at 10. And I have another noise gate to tighten up the tone, negative 48 for the threshold, uh, decay is at 11, may as well be 10. We are using the Line 6 2204 mod, which is... Um, based on a Marshall JCM 800 that is modded. So, what do we have going on here? The drive is set to 5. The bass is 6.9. The mid is at 4.6. The treble is at 7.7. .7. So that's pretty scooped. The presence is... The presence is set to 7.4. Channel volume is at 8.6. Again, that's something that you're going to need to adjust based on your setup. The master and sag are both at 5.0. The pre-mid I have set to 4 dB. Pre-mid FC, which is frequency, is set to 667 hertz. Just one above 666. Pretty sure I did that on purpose. Just kidding. The bias and the bias X are both set to 5. Then I'm running into 2... IRs, both of which are Ohnhammer. So the top one is the OH412 ENG V30 421 FRED, the Fredman technique with Royer 421s and a vintage 30 loaded angle 4x12. Then I'm running into a 412 ZLBW V30 with, a, it's a blend of two microphones, C414 and the D421. The D, I believe in this situation, means dark. Don't quote me on it. But running into that, the top cab, as you can see, is negative 7.4 dB. So the um, this Zilla is 7.4 dB louder than the angle, okay? Then we're running into a, a low and a high shelf. Um, I have the low frequency set to 300 hertz and then negative 2 dB for that. And I'm not doing anything with the high end. I'm running a tilt EQ. Center frequency is at 650 and it's set to bright 20. Now, this is basically a slight modification from the original tone based on some of the updates. So you're getting a... You're getting the settings for a sort of a refresh, if you will, for my kill switch tone. And it sounds pretty good. It sounds not unlike the other one. Thank you. 
pretty fuzzy and hairy for, for my kind of tone, but you know, it sounds, to my ears, sounded like Killswitch. I don't remember. Basically, it's kill switch. All you gotta really know is whether or not it can. Kill switch. Not bad, right? Cool. So as you can see, I take different approaches to a lot of my tones. Sometimes I use two IR, sometimes I don't. This one I use two. So thank you guys again for your patience. Sorry it took so long to get around to this one, but there's the kill switch tone. All appropriate links down below in the description, including links to my music. And if you dig what I'm putting down, hit subscribe and follow along. Boom, kill switch. A little bit updated, but for the better, I think. And I still love that tone. I still will throw on some kill switch and jam, learn some songs that I've probably learned dozens of times, but just can't seem to retain. You know, when you're trying to write your own music, sometimes learning stuff falls by the wayside, but it's a great tool for inspiration and for just getting better. But kill, that kill switch tone is cool. Super glad you guys liked it, so much to the point where you kept me on my toes and kept bugging me about getting this video made. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. And of course I appreciate everything you guys do and all the support and all the comments and all the love you're showing me. It really means a lot to me. Special shout out to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon and of course here as members on YouTube. If you're looking for other ways to support me and the channel and the things I'm doing, I do have music for sale on Bandcamp, and of course, streaming everywhere music is streamed. Don't forget about that riff smug, but thanks again, guys, for being here. I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next one.